Good morning, good morning, Merdinian family. It is, it is so good to be with you. It's another beautiful morning. I saw uh, if you know anybody from Merdinian family or families who would like to join and enjoy this following 20 minutes of, I don't know, two praise songs and then meditating a little bit from the Word of God, please let them know. They may Maybe they forgot or maybe they forgot to set their alarms up. Because nowadays, 9 o'clock seems to be early for some people. But um, please encourage them. Welcome them to this family where together we can worship God. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes, probably another minute or two, until we all get to uh, be together. And then after that, we're going to do two songs. Arachin yerke hayren yerkbetke. Yerken vore yeskitem chaplin mech. Mikanian kam yerkeleng, yekek pashteng takavori. Yev, after that, we're going to sing an English song. It is called Our God is Greater, Our God is Stronger, and uh, Our God is Higher Than Any Other. Our God is a Healer. He is Awesome in Power. Amazing songs. I know you will enjoy it. So, this is your opportunity. If you know anybody from your friends who should be here, live joining us to worship please let them know say a quick prayer with me so we can get started lord we thank you so much for creating this beautiful day when we wake up in the morning and and realize here here we go a a, a day waiting for us another week waiting for us it could be it can be mixed feelings uh we are we're happy that you have given us this day to live but at the same time, we know there are many things that need to be done. We have to go back to school, studying, writing, homeworks, work for our parents. But I pray that in the midst of all this, you will be glorified. Lord, you have given us all this for us to enjoy, for us to grow, for us to live and give back to you. So this morning, Lord, we want to give you the praise. We want to give you the honor. And we want to say genuinely with all our hearts, thank you, Jesus, for all your blessings. We worship you. We praise your holy name. We're so thankful for this Merdinian family. May your blessings be upon us. May your guidance be upon us. May your word, your mercy, your grace will be abundant with us. In Jesus' name we pray. What do we say? Amen. Let me see who's saying hi to me so I can say hello back to you. Mary Valian, good morning, Pastor Howard from Lena and Lori. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Yay from for Armenian. Of course, we're going to do a lot of Armenian. Miss Lena, Bari Luis, Bari Luis, Sireli, Miss Lena. Sandra. Good morning, Merdinian family. That's right. Good morning, everybody else. Let's get this fun song and party started. How about that? Yeah, you have the lyrics on the screen. Please, I need you to sing with me. Here we go. It's very simple. All you have to do is repeat after me. Are you ready? Here we go. After me. Your turn. You got it, right? Emmanuel. That's right. Astvats meset. Can you sing it with a smile? Pastelie, oh, Jesus mete. Sing with me, and par, par, par Jesus in, par, par, par Jesus in, par, par, par Jesus. 
want to hear your voice. Are you ready? Say with me. My God is greater. My God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. My God is healer. Awesome in powers. My God. My God. He's our God. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, this is our God. Amen. Well, I hope everybody is awake at your house after you are singing the songs. And what a beautiful way to start every morning. Now, this, I know I can't be live every morning, but there is so many things you can do every morning. A scripture a day, a song a day on YouTube here and there. It's, it's one of the best ways, if not the best way to start any morning. It's to meditate, to read, and realize that every breath, ah, every day, every sunlight, every resting night, they're all gifts from God to remind you that He loves you. I want to read you something very important. You know why? Because I have two things here behind me. Let me show you. Here is a light bulb. And here, too, there is a, oh, 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 there we go, light bulb. Do you see? I've got two light bulbs, and I want to talk about this today. And you're like, well, wait a second, this is a Bible. Um, maybe you call it a Bible, but I see it like a, an amazing light bulb, okay? Let me tell you a little story about Dad. Let me turn off the piano before it starts going crazy trying to play drums for us. There you go. Let me tell you what I mean that I have two light bulbs in my hand. Boom. Hear this. Put a test. Probably you know it. Maybe you've done a science project about this, but I want to remind you this morning. <clears throat> Edison and Swans, the two inventors, eventually joined forces and formed Edison Swan United, which became one of the world's largest manufacturers of light bulbs, according to the Museum of Unnatural Mystery. Hmm. Where Edison succeeded and surpassed his competition was in developing a practical and inexpensive boom light bulb, according to the DOE. Edison and his team of researchers in Edison's laboratory in New Jersey tested more than 3,000 designs of light bulbs between the 1878 and 1880s. In November of 1879, <coughs> Edison filed a patent for the electrical lamp with a carbon filament. The patent listed several materials that might be used for the filament, including cotton, linen, and wood. Edison spent the next year finding the perfect filament for, this, for his new light bulb, testing more than 6,000 plants to determine which material would burn the longest. Imagine putting something inside of this light bulb to burn the longest. Now, let me take this out. This is... This is crazy. Look, look how far we've come. Boom. Do you see this? Amazing. This thing will go for a lifetime warranty. That means the company who made this sunlight says you can use one of this for a lifetime. It will never worn out. Isn't that crazy how far we've come? Several months after that, in 1879, a patent was granted. Edison and his teammate discovered that a carbonized bamboo filament could burn more than 1,200 hours. Bamboo was used for a filament in Edison's light bulb until it began to be replaced by longer lasting materials in 1880s and early in 1900s and after. Now, when I read this story, I said, wait a second, there's something that happened after that, which is we don't use any fire. We don't get any. I don't just take a lighter and start a fire inside of this. And, uh, and I get enough light on, in one of this to kind of give light to the entire room. 
But here's the thing. Here's what we forget. In the 1800s, before this, an Italian inventor, his name was Alessandro Volta, developed the first practical method of generating electricity. The Voltic Pile, it's called. And this is why we call and measure electricity with voltage that comes after his last name. Now, so far, it's all science. And I know you know it. And excellent. Well, if not, now you know it. And, and this, is, this is what I want to talk about today very shortly. I have four minutes left. Um, if I get one of these complicated, complex, amazing light bulbs, yet without electricity and power coming to this light bulb, this becomes an unknown item. I have no idea what this could be used for. I don't know what else I would use for it. This, it took them years to develop this. It was, it's amazingly made, will go for a lifetime. Yet, if this thing does not receive what it makes him worth, what brings up its purpose, what tells me it could be used for, what gives its value, this becomes a sort of worthless item because I don't know its purpose. I don't know what this can be used for. You got it? Without electricity, this means can do not much, nothing. It's just, as I call it, an unknown item. Now, if you read in your Bibles, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16 says, it's on the screen, read it with me. You, yeah, Jesus is talking about you, he says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. So here's a command. Let your light so shine before men that when that may see your good works. Got it? Men see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You know what he's saying is this. Look. There is a source of electricity, all right? I'm trying to compare this so you can understand. So if we are this light bulb, right? It says you have to shine your light. It says when they see your good works, they have a question. Who gives you the power to do those good works? Who gives you the power to shine your light? And, and that's when they realize, wait a second, without having a source of power, you cannot shine your light. So they glorify your father saying, wow, you truly have a, a, a good God. You truly have a God that gives you the power to shine your light. Do you understand what I'm saying? If we don't depend on this source of power and we become the light of the world, the scripture, David says, it says it, it's a lie to my path. It shows me which way to go, how to do things. My friend, my dear Virginia friend, if this light bulb, no matter how amazing, modern, complicated is, still needs power to operate, you do as well. And that is why our power comes from God. How? Through prayer, through scripture, through worship, through church services, through getting together, meditating on God, spending time with God. That's how we, re we receive our source of power so when we do these good works which are lights illuminating the room in the house people when they see you they will look for your source of power and tell him you know what it's not power it's someone his name is god jesus christ he has given me the holy spirit to give me the power the power to go ahead and shine my light and it is also available to you. If not, I'm telling you, it becomes a very confused, confused life to, to realize we go day after day. We try to figure out what's our purpose to be here. Why am I doing this? And all those questions matter no more. When you realize that just the way this light bulb needs power to show its purpose, we need the power of God to show our purpose on this earth it's very simple but it answers many many questions don't forget i'm going to close it close this time we're reading one more time our verse you are the light of the world 
a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. Do not hide your light, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Glorify the one who gives you all the power. So you're not going to face anything this week that God cannot give you the power to face. You're not going to go through anything during this life that God cannot give you the power to go through. So rise and shine and light your house, light your community, light your family, whatever you are. Just remind everybody through your good works, your faith, your worship, that your power comes from the unlimited power, honor, whatever you want to put that sentence. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is our God, our Heavenly Father. Close your eyes. Let me pray. Father, I thank you so much for giving us the power for the moment. It is more than enough, Lord, for us to stand still and rejoice in your presence. Father, I thank you for this community, for this time. We praise your holy name. Our God is truly greater. He is stronger. He is the healer. He is the way maker. He's the one who goes before us and always reminds us that he holds us in his arms. We have nothing to fear. We have to trust, move forward step by step, growing in our faith and remembering that we have to shine our lights. The light of the world is Jesus Christ. Today and forever, what we say, amen and amen. Well, I want you to have an amazing day. Don't forget to shine his light. If you have anything you want to tell me, please message me. I'm going to go ahead and, and, uh, and read your messages here in uh, the chat. But... I know it's getting like you have to get ready for a class. So God bless you. We love you so, so, so much. We truly do. And we want you to have an amazing day. Go and shine your light. We'll see you next Monday.